three baskets of yam. Bear, rabbit, and monkey lived together in a forest. One day, they went to Uncle Goat's house to hang out. Uncle Goat welcomed them kindly. Before they left, he had even given them three baskets of yam and said, "I give you three baskets of yam. Each person take one. This moment next year, you three bring back the same amount of yam to me. All right?" The three was very happy. They took the yam baskets and ran home. Only after they had arrived home, that they remembered Uncle Goat's words to give back three baskets of yam as what they had received today. What to do? Bear thought, "I still have plenty of time to next year. I shall eat these all and think about paying back later." Then he ate half of the yams at once. Rabbit thought. Uncle Goat is already weak. I have nothing to worry about. Let's think about it next year. Meanwhile, Monkey picked the largest yams and stored them. The next day, Bear met Monkey and asked, "Have you eaten the yams all?" "I ate a few and kept a few of them." Monkey answered. Why did you keep them? The mice will eat them all. I kept them so I can cultivate them. I plant them next spring and harvest in the autumn. Then I will have a lot of yams to give back to Uncle Goat, and I can eat the leftover. Hearing Monkey's words, Bear agreed. Monkey did the right thing. He also thought. Fortunately, I still have three yams left. I have to keep them as seedlings. However, a few days later, he took the yams out and kept looking at them. He felt like eating them so much. I don't need three yams as seedling. Two are already enough. Then Bear ate one yam at once. The winter. Gradually came, wind rushed outside the house. Bear's stomach started to growl. I should find something to eat. Bear thought, I only need one yam to cultivate. Then he ate another one. Spring came. Bear woke up. The spring's landscape was so beautiful. Bear saw monkey plowing the soil on the green field. He thought of the yam he stored last season, so he dug a hole in front of the house and buried the yam into it. He kept waiting and waiting, but days later there was no sign of the yam growing up. So Bear decided to dig it up. The yam was still sleeping under the hole. Looking at the yam, Bear thought, "This yam." Looks so nice. Burying it under the soil is such a waste. What if a mouse eats it, or even if it sprouts, the rain will wash it away. Putting it into my stomach is the safest way. Then he swallowed it immediately. Autumn had come. The branches and leaves had turned into yellow. Bear looked at the basket, which was full of spider web, thinking that he had nothing to return Uncle Goat. He went out and looked for Rabbit. Rabbit's basket was also empty, with no yam inside. The two came to find Monkey. As soon as they entered Monkey's house, they saw yams all over the place. Seeing his friends coming, Monkey was glad and invited his friends into the house. He even gave Bear and Rabbit two large baskets of yams. Bear and Rabbit were so glad. The three took the yam baskets to Uncle Goat's house. 
Uncle Goat laughed loudly, looking at the yam baskets. You three are so good. I don't need my yams back. I just wanted to know who was thoughtful and appreciated working. Now take the yams home. You three are all good kids. Hearing Uncle Goat's praise, both Bear and Rabbit's faces turned red in embarrassment. Lesson: Working hard, thinking carefully from the smallest things, will bring best results at the end.